Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Most Born. I was good on my own, that's the way it was. That's the way it was. You was good on the low for a fatty fuck. Now, what you guys are all here to see or to understand is how we got this beautiful Galaxy Opal Wilt Chamberlain. And honestly, it's been a grind. It's been a hassle. But I'm going to tell you guys how many tokens you could get from every single thing and what is the best method to do so. So you guys are always asking me, what's the best way to grind tokens? What should I do to get these rewards? How should I go about making sure I get the best players possible in this token market, basically? And the answer is always the same for everybody i know you don't want to but domination is the answer it is 130 percent the answer always and forever so what you do is what you gotta know is domination is worth it 100 percent. if you guys want to know how to beat domination better or like make it funner we could talk about that a little bit but honestly you just gotta do it while doing something else so let's just go through every single domination and show you guys how many tokens you'll be getting and when you see it and hear it and actually visualize it in your head you'll realize it is definitely worth it so from the first domination you get five per division so if you do the math real quick five times six Six divisions is 30 so you're already at 30 for the 30 teams that you beat from there you gotta beat the west and east all-stars the east and west both get you six tokens you get six tokens total for beating the east six for the west that's 12 more tokens added to your 30 now you go to the final domination piece and that is a 16 token game 16 tokens for one game of domination do you understand the concept behind that now one thing you also don't realize is you're getting jerseys you're getting logos you're getting a lot of things for your collector level as well as the fact that they actually are a collection reward for tokens so you're getting actually way more tokens than what we just counted off right there now fantasy is where it gets really really interesting because you're getting eight per division so eight times six is 48 you go to your east and west and you are getting 16 each so 16 for east 16 for west that's 32 added to your 48 and then the final game is actually worth 23 tokens. 23 tokens from one game, which you can't get doing anything else at all. And I know you guys are like, yeah, but we got to fight all the way to get here. But this isn't where it starts, honestly. Like 23 tokens sounds like a lot for one game, which it is. But wait till you see what you're getting for all time domination. So regular domination was just a little bit of a climb, a little bit of a grind fantasy is where you start seeing your rewards actually start stacking up but all time is where it actually all pays off now what you get for all time is you get 10 tokens per division so do that again that's 60 but wait don't forget that you actually get one token for getting three stars in each one so you're getting a token per game plus 10 per division so that's 15 per division total times six which is 90 you're getting 90 tokens for beating 30 teams which is literally a steal you're stealing tokens now east and west is woof, woof, woof. we're gonna move me over just so you guys could actually start believing me but look at this you're getting 23 tokens for beating the all-time west squad 23 tokens for beating the all-time east squad and then finally the final game you are getting 42 tokens which is almost which is literally getting an amethyst player so imagine playing one game of domination to get that many tokens it's honestly a steal and you can't beat that you can't beat that in any other game mode whatsoever it's over 170 tokens just in all time alone and if that's not convincing you i don't know what will but do it while watching a basketball game do it while watching netflix watching youtube watching twitch do it while doing anything in the world and it's honestly so worth it domination is a hundred percent worth it i am telling you this from someone who did it someone who grinded this it is worth it next best method is the triple threat method single player so offline triple threat it is called you play this through 
round one through six you're getting five tokens for beating five teams so a game could take you anywhere from six to ten minutes maybe a little shorter maybe a little more so at the end of the day you could do it in 30 minutes to an hour each board and you get five tokens so that really does pay off after you beat the first six boards the seventh board only gives you three tokens instead of five so you can honestly keep grinding that if you want if you have fun doing so i don't have fun doing so so after i got to board seven i didn't enjoy it and i stopped i basically was like nope not doing this anymore not worth it for me the next step is the locker codes make sure you're not missing out on locker codes if you are follow me on twitter i will start tweeting them out myself I know a lot of people don't want to follow the NBA 2K Twitter. I'll also link that. You'll never miss a locker code on my Twitter anymore. From this moment on, I will not be making you guys miss locker codes if you follow me on Twitter. I will tweet it every single day whenever they do release one. The way I got my tokens, majority of them, is I completed collections. So people ask me all the time, what are collections I should be completing? What are collections I should not be completing? So what I tell people is, it's very simple. If you are using a card... Like, say, for example, I am using Kawhi Leonard. I know I'm using Kawhi Leonard. I know I'll always use Kawhi Leonard. Then this collection is not that bad for me because he's the most expensive card in the collection. The rest of the collection comes out pretty cheap because what people don't realize is all of these collections cost pretty much roughly the same amount. We sit here and look at the Nuggets collection where these three silvers over here cost like 15k each, 10k each. But at the end of the day, you got to look at the rest of the cards around them and they all cost 2 to 3k. So when you add up all the MT, you realize he costs just as much as this set, as much as this set, as much as this set. So the sets that come out worthy of being completed are the ones that have an amethyst player that you already have because you don't want to lock in a silver that costs 10k or 15k you want to lock in a set where the mt values of these silvers aren't too expensive so you need a card like an amethyst that drains up some of the mt so you're not locking in a silver that costs so much so you could literally go through all the teams that have so much mt values in their silvers like the heat and realize it's because the rest of the team doesn't cost anything they don't have an amethyst they don't have any player that really costs any kind of value the wizards are another team that their three silvers cost the most any team that has three silvers and no amethyst costs so much now when you look at a team like the warriors they have two guys that take a bulk of their basically payroll so the rest of the cards are pretty cheap so if you actually plan to keep steph and kd which is the reason i locked them in in the begin with um then it's worth it but what you get from actually completing these is you get 20 tokens so these 20 tokens are worth it only if you have the mt to actually like fund this as well as you're using cards that you're actually going to keep like i would never tell people to fund this i just closed out these cards recently the ones that cost a lot because i really needed the tokens but other than that i would never recommend funding this three silver lineup however a good time to snipe which is another story which we could talk about another day but sniping is very well on a certain day so we could talk about that if you guys want to do that there's days where you could snipe these very very cheap another set that gets you a lot of tokens is actually the heat check sets so the heat checks give you 25 i completed every single heat check which is another reason that i did it but you can easily get will not easily but if you're willing to put in the grind and not spend any money on these collections you can still do it with some other methods i will talk about right now a really good thing that people don't realize is the throwbacks make sure you're doing the throwbacks when they come out the cards are cheapest then which on four throwbacks i didn't do i waited and i didn't realize the cards go up in value make sure you're doing them when they are out it will save you so much mt like i bought this gerald wallace for like 25k or something if i would have just got him in time he would have been so much cheaper like 9 10k max if you guys don't like any of the offline methods or wasting your mt good methods are my team unlimited you can play this out while you're trying to get your player of the month or just getting tickets for the qualifier you're gonna get a lot of tokens regardless never reset your token rewards i tell people this all the time they don't understand the aspect if you re reset it because you lost and you already have five wins you're never gonna get your five tokens get your five tokens so a good way to do that is to enter a game with like a bronze team foul out or let your timer go off don't ever quit because you end up getting the message for quitting and you don't want to do that that sportsmanship message it's really annoying you could also close app that actually saves you from getting that 
but um you get your tokens make sure you get every single token every token counts all the time my team challenges something i feel like nobody does but every week we get my team challenges um i don't always do the mt one it's sometimes not worth it like 2.5k is cool if you don't have the mt make sure you do it but do this one you're getting two tokens free two tokens for three minute quarters so to me that's actually really really worth it and it's a lot of fun because you're not playing people that are sweating as hard because they're not playing my team unlimited so it's a little more fun you're getting two tokens that way and it gives you something fresh to do and now the way that i got mine after doing all the collections doing all the domination and everything is i played triple threat online triple threat online is the funnest way for me this is how i get my mt you get a lot of badges from it you get opportunities at diamonds basically which could be shoes or contracts so i've got a lot of contracts and shoes and i sell them quickly show you the best shoe that i pulled from this i pulled other shoes that i sold for 20 30k but this shoe goes for like 40 to 50k and i'm saving it for now but you could get a lot of diamond shoes from that and that's where i get most of my diamonds from i get a lot of contracts which i either use or sell so i know this method looks like you're wasting mt on contracts but you do get contracts from playing them within like the bronze and silver ones throughout the packs me since all my players have diamond contracts i actually get all the MT that I make from the game straight to my pocket as well as all the contracts that come in since I play this game the most out of every other game mode I actually take those contracts and sell them in the auction house and make a lot of MT off that I sell all my badges unless I need a player that I have to badge out and honestly it's the quickest MT making method I know it's a whole different story we could talk about that in a whole different video if you guys want but yeah, make sure you guys are grinding out these methods, whichever one you want. The most important will always be domination. Other methods that I didn't talk about because I don't think they're worth it time consumption wise are the weekly challenges. The weekly is probably easier than the schedule one because you only have five to go through and they're not full games more or less. So you could do that one and you get three tokens for each weekly which is amazing because they stack up so you could do these on one day that you're bored and you can't play online or you're tired of playing online you could grind these out the schedule challenges on the other hand i feel like they're not worth it they take way too much time to run through you do get a lot of mt so if you don't have mt and you want to grind mt play it out um you also get free agent cards and you have a chance at the end to get a really good player from the pack so you never know you might get something good it is very time consuming though for three tokens so i do not recommend that for token grinding i hope all this was worth it for you guys i hope it was helpful if it was please make sure you like this video subscribe and share it with people that you think it may or may not help or may help why would you share it to someone that it may not help but yeah guys it's been your boy most bowling i'm about to grind i'm about to stream make sure you come through and i'll see you guys later and y'all know the drill bowling out.